my relationship right now, at this stage in my life, with divinity or with God, or with Source, is quite intimate. You know, I, I don't really rely on books to tell me what God is or what my relationship to it is. I find that the more I read, the more I find, oh, yes, this is, yes, this resonates. This is exactly what it's, yes. Well said, Mr. Buddha. Well said, Senor Christ. You know, like, I find that my truth is represented in these sacred books, and it, you know, and, and it's easy for me because if it doesn't resonate, I usually go, eh, translation problem. I'm not sure that, eh, that, there's no way Jesus meant that. I don't think so. That just, but my experience is, is much more of a mystical experience of an of a, a intimate experience of, of divine. So it makes it really easy to, to not take things too seriously that are said as these absolutes. You know, I was, I was on, on Halloween, I was downtown, and it was strange because everyone's in crazy costumes, and there's also the street preacher people with signs of, you know, repent. And, and, it, and, and I, there was a time in my life when I would love getting in debates. Well, first of all, I love getting in debates in general, but I love getting in debates with somebody who is a street preacher. Because logic has no place in the arguments of faith. If you are a believer that, you know, uh, these people are going to be going to hell and you are there to, to save them and deliver them, um, it, it's, it's, <laughs> the logic falls apart constantly. Um, and so I used to love to, to kind of go, so give me, let me just, just so I'm clear, I'm a baby, born in Africa, nobody tells me about Jesus, I go to hell. Or at least purgatory. Is that, is that my understanding? Okay. So this, this divine, this God, is condemning a baby in a way that I would never do. So you're saying that, that college student John is a more compassionate entity than the creator of the universe? Let me just get that straight. Okay. Um, I cannot believe that. I cannot I cannot, I cannot, I cannot, I cannot. And so, of course, now I, I see people doing that, and I'm like, I, I, I still kind of want to engage. I kind of want to pull aside and go, um, I know that you think God left you a note in this book, but I've been talking with him pretty intimately. We play tennis together. Um, I've seen him naked in the shower room. We're bros, and he would never would have said that. It's not his style. He appreciates that you're trying your best, and he actually loves you for exactly the path you're on and thinks that this is the journey that you need to be on. So maybe I'm messing with things by talking to you about it. But he doesn't really want you to succeed. Sorry. Um, he wants you to forgive and, and, and love and uplift no one's going to hell except for the one that they're experiencing right now based on the fear and judgment that they are holding as a part of who they are. Oh, I'm sorry, you're not convinced? Right. I'm wasting my time. You believe something. And belief is about having a, a, a understanding of the universe and then forcing reality into it. That's what belief is. Faith, on the other hand which is what a divine experience will often open you up to, is the recognition that oh, it's all freaking perfect. And as I understand and learn more and more, that's simply more and more awareness of the perfect is. If I thought something was supposed to be different, and it turns out to be, you know, a different thing, it's not, I, I don't, that's not at odds with my faith. My faith actually embraces all. Like when the Dalai Lama said, well, if, Science suddenly says, discovers things that actually are at odds with Buddhism. Buddhism will change. Um, I do believe that the idea of suffering and hell in a metaphoric sense makes a ton of sense. And it's a part of our reality. And I think that if you project that metaphor onto biblical verses, it makes total sense. You got to keep in mind, you know, the audience, you know, I, I, 
if <laughs> the, the 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 time and the 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 I find that, that so much of the things that I read about Jesus' words are absolutely in line with my beliefs if I don't get too attached to specifics or get, don't get too attached to the way that they've been interpreted by others. But if I, if I, if I, can, it can, if I, if I can force ideas of the I or God or heaven into my metaphoric understandings of reality and existence and oneness, it all comes together. Same is true with Buddha. Same is true with Tao Te Ching. Same is true, more and more, the same is true with uh, the Bhagavad Gita. And that actually is more of a description, I think, of you know our trials and tribulations on the earth. It is part of this training ground, this learning experience that we have as our divine nature. And, and even that, you know, when you get when you pull out of the specifics and allow for metaphor, it all works together. Joseph Campbell is a big thing about that. Look, if you get too attached to the specifics of your myth and you say it is this way, you are doomed to suffer because you're automatically going to be at odds with anything different and you will fight with your experience of, of, of reality as well as everyone else's. But if you can pull back and appreciate the metaphoric story of any belief system, you can suddenly find massive overlap you can find teachings anywhere, and uh, and you can find a unity of, uh, you know, what was his thing called? Uh, you know, the the hero's journey, the 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 man with, or the man with a thousand faces, I think is what it was called. Or, but his recognition that oh wow, if you let go of specifics, we're all saying very similar stories because there are certain things that are absolute and common and part of being a human being. Wanting to have the experience of this moment, knowing that you're not alone, knowing that there are other people that are searching, that are wanting to open their hearts and love and accept and embrace, but I'll have the same kind of fears if I don't want to be taken advantage of, I don't want to be a chump, I don't want... But there's others, okay, all right. Oh. Knowing that giving, gifting, service. A follower of Christ, a follower of Buddha, and a follower of one's own hallucinogenic experiences of the divine can sit down, share some hummus and a few beers, and be as brothers. So, let's get some hummus. I love you.